Venus weightlifting, Chinese weightlifting. Hi, it's Gabby. Today, I've decided to make a series about how to do a power clean from scratch. It will be six episodes in total. So, if you like today's episode, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in online coaching with me, please DM me to get the info. So, why power clean? We only do power cleans for two reasons. For Olympic weightlifting, the power clean is one of the lifting styles to improve your clean and jerk stats, to improve performance in other sports like basketball, football, soccer, or running. Many sports which have great commercial appeal all need one thing called power. Power performed by human body is called triple extension. No matter whether you are doing a linear motion or multi-direction motion, no matter whether you are jumping up or sprinting forward, they are all the same. In strength training, for this power, the barbell is the only equipment that allows you to carry relatively heavy weight in training with limited risk. Small equipment like dumbbells or kettlebells may tear your small joint stabilizers or shoulder if they are really heavy, especially when you are doing lower body trip extension. So the barbell is the best choice for athletes to improve their trip extension ability. And since snatch requires great mobility and stability for the shoulders in the overhead catching position, power clean have become the best choice for a lot of pro athletes to improve their power. So, how do you improve your power? Here is a science bit. Work is force times displacement, and velocity is displacement over time. Power equals force times velocity. So, we are actually doing just one thing to find the maximum number with the equation. Scenario one, same load, you can go faster, or scenario two, same speed, you can lift or resist heavier load. So how can we get the optimal result? It depends on what kind of sports you are doing. Let's get to the speed force training curve first. The y-axis is the load you can resist, and the x-axis is the speed. The more load you have, the less speed you will generate. Like the speed you do 100 kg deadlift and 50 kg deadlift is different. We spread the slot Y, 25, 45, 65, 85, and 100 percent. So we said that your one arm DL is 100 kg. So if I use a load below 25 kg, it's called speed training. Loads between 20 to 45 kg are called speed strength training. Useful for sports like tennis, golf, boxing athlete. We say they train light but fast. When we go up to 45 to 60 kg, then it's called strength speed training. Rowers or American football players need to be able to resist the same amount as their own body weight. So it's actually a relatively heavy resistance. The same for crossfit athletes doing weightlifting for AMRAP. Between 65 to 85 kg, it falls to hypertrophy, like bodybuilding. We define the weight about 65 to 100% as slow speed training. You never hear any coach saying, go fast when someone is doing bench presses. You only hear coaches talking about a full range of motion, control, feel it pumped. So they are all slow speed training. About 85% and it's strength training, like powerlifting or strongman, which aim for maximum strength output rather than maximum power output. Their power output is normally smaller than the strength speed range. In a commercial or everyday gym, we normally see people doing hypertrophy training. Olympic weightlifting theoretically should be put in the category of 45 to 65% and unlimited to 65%. Since Olympic weightlifting only aims at one rep max weight, so your ideal maximum power claim number should be 65 kg if you can deadlift 100 kg. You will choose your own type of training depending on which sport you are doing. So like me, if you are an Olympic weightlifter, you do few reps with more weight 
I recommend you do a training set close to 65% of your 1RM, do no more than 3 reps a set and 4 to 6 sets training. 2 to minutes rest in between is recommended for your recovery. If your sports fall in the speed strength category like tennis or basketball, I recommend you do 6 to 8 reps per set, 60 seconds rest is enough. If you do judo or if you are an American football player, your training falls into strength speed training. So a 4 to 6 rep per set, 90 seconds rest is recommended. Finally, let's talk about your mobility. If you have tight T spine or weak core or weak lower back, I recommend you do power clean from above knees as it is lower the risk of injury. If you have great mobility and very strong core, you can enjoy the power clean from the floor. This is the first episode and we talked about why you should do power clean and how to choose your own weight and training style. I hope it has helped you understand the power clean better. In the next episode, we'll talk about how to increase mobility for a good clean. Venus weightlifting, Chinese weightlifting. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time.